Guys, this is not the kind of video I was planning to make today, but we as Subnautica fans are facing a new type of dilemma. As many of you already know, the original creators of Subnautica, the director Charlie Cleveland, CEO Ted Gill, and co-founder Max McGuire were fired back in July, and it has caused a huge mess from angry fans ready to boycott Subnautica 2, and even a huge ongoing lawsuit. Well, just when you thought things couldn't get any worse for Krafton and Subnautica as a brand, um, well, it just did. But first, I'm Leviathan Kraken. Subscribe if you're new here. I cover Subnautica and Subnautica modding news, as well as similar indie, ocean, and survival games. And I appreciate all of you returning that have supported my channel. This article is from GamesRadar.com. Still embroiled in Subnautica 2 drama, PUBG and Hi-Fi Rush owner Krafton announces it's an AI-first company now as it plans to spend $70 million on the tech. Yes, you read that right, but to what extent? So let's go ahead and read the full article. Amid an ongoing legal feud with Subnautica 2's original lead developers and a string of notable misses, publisher Krafton's decided to turn things around by er, letting AI into almost every part of the business. The PUBG Hi-Fi Rush 2 and Callisto Protocol owner announced in a press release earlier today that it's now an AI-first company, which essentially means it's implementing AI into everything from management systems and company infrastructure to research and development and still vague in-game AI stuff. So translation, they're most likely going to be firing a lot of the people, shortening their, their staff, and they're going to be putting a lot of AI-generated content in their games. It's it's literally that... It's disgusting. Crafton CEO Kim Chang Hung says the company will expand the growth opportunities of each member through the AI-first strategy, expand creative attempts centered on player experience, and lead AI innovation in the game industry as a whole. Thanks to Infostock Daily for the translations. By establishing an AI-centered operational standard, Crafton aims to become a global role model for the future of game development. The press release also reveals that Crafton is sinking 100 billion won, or around 70 million dollars US dollars, into the initiative. Starting next year, it's it'll also set aside about 30 billion won, 20 or so million, annually to promote AI use within the company and teach employees how to use AI tools. There's no telling if we could see AI-generated art, music, or writing creeping into upcoming games like next year's Subnautica 2 or the impending Hi-Fi Rush 2, which would be extra jarring considering how anti-mega corporation the first game is. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so... Whew, there's a lot to unpack here. Now, that was a short article, uh, but it, there's still a lot to unpack in what they just said. So... Let's start with what we just read. <laughs> Crafton, we know, has already developed a bad reputation, to say the least. And now they're admitting they're going to cut corners to use AI, most likely to create game assets. That could be anywhere from, as they said, music, art images, or 3D models, and possibly code generation to speed up their game development process. This... This it also means that they probably will be shortening their staff. They're going to be letting a lot of people go. Uh, okay, so this is not a good look at all. I, I'm, I know the majority of people are very much against AI being used for art. Uh, I've even heard stories of vendors at art shows being kicked out for using AI generation in their prints. So, it, you know, and I know on the, <laughs> on the Subnautica modding Discord, if you even so much as mention the, the the use of ai all hell breaks loose they they will shun you and they've even potentially talked about potentially banning people that this is how angry people get when they you know they create their own original art they they work hard they maybe get a college degree and th that's only to find out that chat gpt can do it better and will steal your job one day i mean Video games, you know, going back to video games, it used to be a work of art. Just like theater, uh, which evolved into movie making, it is art. It's a story. It has passion. It has visuals. You become emotionally invested in the story. All of this is about to collapse. And I'm going to explain why in here a minute. But 
As for Crafton, you know, I don't know if they're trying to cut corners and save money since they're probably uh, most likely going to lose the lawsuit <laughs> against the original devs. I mean, that's like, what, 200 million or more that they're going to be owing. Um, it's not looking good for them. And I can I can cover that situation in a later video. But OK, devil's advocate here. Warning, I'm about to flip the script now. There's also a lot of companies that view AI as the future and an inevitable one at that. So look, you guys can hate on it. You can shame AI users all you want, but there's really no stopping it. You're fighting an uphill battle against AI. And eventually, I predict that AAA games, Hollywood, all of it is going to collapse and be replaced with these AI indie titles. I think it's going to start with AI realistic regeneration of older titles, which we're already seeing, such as this realistic Subnautica video that we're looking at right now. Now, this is just an AI regeneration of an existing video, but at some point, you'll one day have this feature that you turn on that will make older games look instantly like a next generation slash hyper realistic version of itself. Then, after that, you know, we might move on to just prompt generation. You'll you'll type in the style of game, whether it's RPG or first person shooter. You'll describe the characters. You'll describe the setting, the graphic style that you prefer, and it will just make the game for you. <laughs> hey, look, I know some of you are probably thinking I'm crazy, you know, when talking about this, but I remember certain teachers back in the day, yeah, newsflash i am old <laughs> back in the day they're like oh sonny you're never going to be carrying a calculator in your pocket everywhere you go <laughs> well we know what a fool they turned out to be same goes for movies okay you're, you'll be able to generate a movie with any actor you choose with whatever story you choose and hollywood eventually will crumble i mean it might find ways to adapt but the Hollywood that we know it and the AAA games, video games, they will crumble. And we're already seeing it happen in small doses. I mean, just look at these realistic Dragon Ball Z videos that you see floating around the internet. And in actual use, we're already seeing games on Steam that have an AI asset disclaimer. We are seeing Hollywood is already dis discussing this creation of an AI actor. Look. We're already there, all right? And there's no going back, whether you hate it or not. Even Nintendo, in an article, if I remember correctly, has discussed the potential use of AI in the future. Now, look, I'm not trying to pick sides here. I'm not. I'm just telling you like it is. And many of you are not ready to accept the reality that's coming our way. And believe me, there are big changes coming. However, guys, with that being said, I think the timing of this statement by Crafton is very damaging. They will start slowly leaking AI generated art into their games once that they get their AI infrastructure set up. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we're not going to see anything like that in Subnautica 2. They, they have a pretty solid dev team. I don't see any logical reason why they would even need to add AI content into Subnautica 2. But sadly, uh, any future Subnautica title is looking like it's going to be having AI content. Um, this is, but this was not a good decision on Crafton's part to be announcing this at this particular time with this ongoing lawsuit. So, I mean, I don't even know if they're going to have a company left by the time that, <laughs> by the time they start setting all this up. Who knows? You know, this might just be the final nail in the coffin for them. I mean, I know they're a big mega corporation, but a lot of people hate AI content you know as as art being generated anyways the bad news is that we you know whether we like it or not we will be seeing a lot more and more companies jump onto this ai bandwagon um but what do you guys think about this is it too late to regulate the use of ai and to stop jobs from being taken is it too late to regulate it in the use of art and movies and video games what do you think i mean has subnautica as as a a brand has it already lost its heart and soul um hopefully not but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like and share as that helps me fight youtube's very brutal out unfair algorithm <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one peace out